All right, so let's put it all together in animation form. Enter an address to read. F adder equals zero. So that would be written to the F adder at offset eight. Enter a size to read. Hardware sequencing flash status register flash data byte count equals, let's say, hex 10. So it's going to read 16 bytes starting at flash linear address zero. There you go, write that in. Set the flash cycle type to read. Hardware sequencing flash status dot f cycle equals zero for a read operation. Check that no one's using it already. While hardware sequencing flash control dot cycle in progress is equal to one, read the hardware sequencing flash control register and check whether cycle in progress is still equal to one. So just keep looping back and forth, checking if it's one. And if not, say go for the flash cycle to go. Hardware sequencing flash status register f go equals one. And then boom, some magic happens. Now you have to wait until the status says it's done. And you do that by checking hardware sequencing flash status register f done. If it's not equal to one, then you need to keep waiting and checking and waiting and checking. Finally, once it says it's done, then have your fun and check the flash data registers. Read from flash data zero for the first four bytes, flash data one for the next four bytes, because we asked for 16 bytes. So we're going to read flash data zero through three in order to get those 16 bytes of data back. And there you go. We successfully interacted with the spy flash chip through the spy bar memory mapped IO registers via the unseen spy hardware component that's embedded somewhere deep inside the PCH. And with that, we're done. We have just learned about how spy bar memory mapped IO works and how there's a bunch of registers there that can be manipulated in order to cause flash cycles to happen. And we learned about flash writing. We saw exactly which of those registers we had to set. And we saw the spy config address space for those of you who are running PCH 100 series and newer. That is how you find spy bar rather than the Rickerba plus hex 3800. Now we're not actually really done done. There's going to be one last place where the DRAM controller shows up in the context of SMM, but we're done enough for now.